What really breathes life into the Walling app is the collaboration features. Not only do you have everything that Walling has, but then you also have the ability to invite people to work on things together. You can invite your team, your coworkers, your clients, your friends, and you can all work together in one place. So today, we're gonna to go over a handful of uh, collaboration features within Walling and how to utilize them to increase the efficiency of you and your team. So first things first, let's talk about how to invite people. You just go up to the top here, as you can see this little uh, invite people icon next to where your headshot is. You can enter in their email address right here. These can be people who currently have Walling accounts. These can be people who do not have, currently have Walling accounts. So then you just type in their email and hit invite. I'm gonna go ahead and invite a couple more people. Now, if they are currently users and they do have photos, you'll see that their um, photo will already pop up and everything and it all looks filled out. If they're not users of Walling currently, then uh, they will be grayed out until they do become Walling users and join your wall. Next up is permissions. Currently, they're all defaulted to uh, can edit, which means that they can add bricks, they can edit bricks, uh, but they cannot share the wall itself with other people. They cannot make the wall shareable. You can also mark people to just be able to comment on uh, bricks as opposed to edit them or make any changes to the bricks themselves. Uh, so for example, if you wanted to have someone review your work in walling, you could have them just comment so they can leave comments without perhaps maybe messing anything up of your wall things like that, you know. And then lastly, it's just can view, so you can have them uh, just be able to look at the wall itself. And then if we exit out of here, you can see at the top here, not only is it just me in the wall, but we do have a handful of other people. Now these profile images will be used throughout Walling to communicate to you uh, who created the brick, who's responsible for what. So like let's say you started a brick but someone else added something to it, it's gonna have a different profile image indicating that that person had made those changes or made those edits to the brick itself. Another way you can tell this is just by uh, going into the three dots in the bottom right of every brick and right here it shows who created it and how long ago they created it. One of my favorite things is the assigning feature. So when you do have multiple people working on a wall, you can assign the bricks to different people. You can assign it to yourself. If you just go to the assign to button on each brick, we can pick who we want to assign it to. So let's assign that one to Stacy, and that icon will remain there uh, to indicate that Stacy is the one covering that brick. Now we can also assign bricks to multiple people. As you can see, I just assigned myself as well. You can unassign, reassign. And when the bricks are assigned to people, it shows up in their My Tasks section on the left here. So if you go to My Tasks, you'll see that the product positioning strategy is also there so that I have a good overview of what I am responsible for in the grander scheme of however many walls you have going, however many bricks you have going, you know, we can come back here and see everything that we need to do on our part for our team. Additionally, you can assign due dates. You can mark the date. So let's say we're gonna do that at 9 a.m. on Thursday. We can add Stacy to our assigned to as well. And so she and I will be notified at the same time, uh, at 9 a.m. on Thursday, via a push notification, email notification, uh, in-app notification. Really useful there, too. Now, another really cool thing that I like about walling a lot is that when you have multiple people working on a wall together, the changes occur real time. So you can be working on, let's say you're working on this update homepage brick, and someone else is working on this product positioning brick. Like, you can watch it happen. <laughs> <laughs> so let me let me just demonstrate that for you so you can see it. If you see here, there's a little green icon showing that someone's actively right here editing, which is actually my other account. So, <laughs> but then I can you know add additional stuff right here, and it just adds it for me. It adds it for me actively in front of me as well and shows that to everyone who's in the wall at that time. So I think that's really cool. It's a whole nother feeling like being inside of here and watching like people work together. It's really cool. Another great feature for teams, especially when you're not physically talking about these things, like either via virtual video call or anything like that. Um, you can leave comments on specific pieces of bricks. All you have to do to leave a comment is go to the three dots of whatever piece you want to make a comment on. So let's say we want to comment on this compelling story idea. Uh, you just go to the three dots and then up at the top there's add comment and I can add my story idea like that. And then it shows who left the comment, what my comment was, 
when it was. We can also mention people directly. So let's say I wanted to talk to Stacy specifically about this idea and say um, we should brainstorm. And Stacy, when I mention her, will get a notification that I mentioned her and where it was mentioned. Another really useful feature for increasing efficiency in communication between you and your team as you work on things in Walling without having to rely on anything else to sort of communicate. You can communicate directly here. And if we want to just get rid of all the extra comments, we can just hide the comments like that, but it still shows that there are comments that you can see. If someone else adds a comment, you can see that they actually show both of the profile photos to represent who actually commented. And if you haven't read the comment and the comments are minimized, it will actually show this little red dot here to indicate that there is something being commented on. So you can look at it. So there's really a lot of features here for collaboration to make sure that you and your team can effectively work together and really do that as efficiently as possible without having to rely on a lot of external things to complete your tasks and project management within Walling. Now let's take a look at assigning things in a couple different section views. So right here we have a um, table view. So if we wanted to make sure that we had an assign column, all we have to do is just add an additional column and make that a assigned to column so that when we do assign it to someone it'll be very clear who is taking care of this line item and that also goes for list view we can change the podcast episode section to list view and um, there's also an assigned to column here just in a different format so no matter which way you're approaching your project management whether it be through kanban view table view list view visual view, there is always a easy and quick way to identify who something is assigned to um, and assigning it is just as easy. Additionally, you can see here we have a ready column, which is great because it let, lets us know which podcasts are ready. But if we wanted to say add a complete column, we could add a new column, change it to a mark complete column. And then once we actually have that podcast episode completely done, posted, you know, ready to get it out of here, um, we can just hit complete and it moves it to the completed section. Another really useful feature is adding tags to your bricks, especially like in something like Kanban view. It really adds that like extra layer of visibility and readability when it comes to looking at everything. You can just quickly see like, oh, okay, this is this thing and this is this thing, you know, with the color coding and with the contrast of the tags actually popping out at you makes it a lot easier to digest everything quickly. And an honorable mention for the wall discussion board up here uh, next to all of our profile images is uh, the wall discussion board, which you can add discussion notes to and talk with your team right there in the discussion board without adding anything to the project management bricks themselves, you know. So got a whole separate conversation going on over here. If you'd like, you can also mention people. Last but not least is sharing the wall as a public link so that anyone can look at it. That is an option in the sharing options in here. You can create a shareable link just by enabling it. And then this is your link to share with people to review all the content that you have here on your wall. Uh, you can choose to allow public comments so that anyone can make a public comment that you share the link with. And you can also allow for the wall to duplicate, uh, which means that if you had, like, say, a format that you wanted someone to have access to, you could share the link to the format that you created in your wall with someone, and they could duplicate that format that you've created onto their own account and utilize that. And that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some tips and tricks on how to increase your efficiency using Walling with your team and can really utilize all of the collaboration features that Walling has to offer for your next project.